Welcome to video 18 in a series of introductory videos for the InventorCam CNC programming software. This video's topic is threading. So the threading turning toolpath is essentially the same as the turning toolpath you would have seen in, in video 17 with the additional function of actually adding a thread. We're going to program it the exact same way. So I'm just going to right click on setup, go to add turning, threading. Again, we'll see the, the interface is exactly the same. We begin with the geometry. So even though we're threading, we're still choosing a turn profile. We're going to turn it from, we're going to take it from the target profile. So I'm just going to click on new geometry, click on the turn profile, and you'll see that uh, for this rod, I'm basically choosing it for the entire outside. So what I'll have to do is under my modified geometry, I'll go and I'll just trim it back. So we'll say under end extension, I'll just put in a negative, negative 10 inches. So that trims it all the way back to right there. So I'm really only trimming or, or uh, turning that first two inches there. Go to tool, select my tool. In this case, there's my turning tool. Make sure it's oriented correctly. Now, when you define a tool for turning, it's a, it's, a, it's a different sort of tool definition. We're going to go to external turning, where we choose our threading insert, and we choose our shank. So it's similar in the, in the regard that when you choose a composite tool, you choose your shank and your insert. But for your turning insert, you have the added ability of going to the thread type and choosing th from the thread table. So in this case, let's do a UN thread. And you'll see that you have your standard threads and your fine threads. So if we take a look at the one that I previously defined, I defined it as a two and a quarter by four and a half TPI. So using this threading insert, we're actually going to create that. So let me just get out of here. Let's go to data. I'm just gonna change these so that I don't violate the feed and speed of this machine. Levels, as always, is the safety distance away from the updated stock. And in technology, we'll see the main parameters for this toolpath. In this case, we can do threading on the outside, the inside, the face, and the back. So these same four options exist for all the turning toolpaths you'll see inside AdventureCam. Work type, we can either do multiple steps or just a single pass. In this case, I'm just gonna go with multiple steps so we can see the toolpath as it creates. Number of starts actually allows me to add multiple start positions for the, for the um, for the threading insert itself. So if this is a stronger material, maybe I want to do it a couple of times, I can increase this number. I'll just go with the default for now. Once again, the thread toolpath, the geometry was just the line. We're actually going to tell what type of thread generated the toolpath from the thread definition by going to table and choose from the standard tables. So again, I'm going to go to UN. We'll scroll down to two and a quarter by four and a half. And that auto populates my pitch and my minor diameter. In this case, for an external thread, it's minor diameter. But if you have a unique thread, or you have a thread that's similar enough to the standard, but maybe it's a finer thread, we can switch this to user defined, and we'll actually plug in the pitch and the minor diameter. So one rule of thumb I have is I'll always choose it from here so I can get an auto population of, let's say, the minor diameter, just in case I don't know what it is. And then that'll auto populate those. And then if I need to change the pitch, I'll just go to user defined and modify the pitch. On the bottom here, you actually have external finish and thread finish. Those are simply just additional passes, finishing passes to finish the top of the part, as you see in the, in the bottom left corner over there, or the internal threads. Other than that, the only other thing you have is under cycles, how you'd like to do your multiple passes. And under link, we have the approach points. So I'll just do a save and cal calculate on that. And if we take a look at that toolpath, you'll see that it's generated the multiple passes there. If we take a look at that in turning simulation, I'll just play that through. We have our thread. That's pretty much it for turning. Now, the only other additional thing that you don't see on this part is if you have a tapered thread, that is controlled by the geometry itself. So your part should have a design of that, uh, of that outside diameter on that angle. That is the angle that the thread will take. So if you have any kind of uh, pipe thread or anything like that that's tapered, it is the geometry that controls the angle of the thread. 
Any questions on this or anything else from the Investor Can series of introductory videos, you can always call us at 1-866-975-1115, extension 2. You can send us your parts and your questions via the ticket system at solidcamsupport.com or stay tuned for the rest of the videos in this series. Thanks for watching.